Welcome to Deadly Dame. So today we're doing the 10,000 subscriber video for the Geek Legion of Doom. Um, he basically set you a challenge of picking your top 10 standalone movies which don't have a pre-sequel or a sequel um, and sort of talking about the reason why you love those videos, videos, movies. As you can tell Could we've done videos. many attempts to do this. Claire keeps hitting the fit of giggles for uh -huh. some weird reason. This um, is take 20 or, or 10,000. 10,000 is take 10,000. Um, we couldn't decide between us 10 together so we decided to do well we have a couple a couple that we share together but um, so unfortunately we're going to do 10 each this was the only way that we could do it I didn't know whether we wanted to do like one yours one me or mm -hmm. just do um, maybe do it all together what you go first and then me because uh, I think some of those are ones from your childhood that you like to yeah with me um, I I have a like um sort of ten that are sort of made up of probably ones that people will know and then guilty pleasure ones. Um, I cut I sort of pick my top ten always sort of falls on movies that I would say I've watched lots, and that's how I pick top tens. Okay, well um, I'll start then. And it's not in any. Oh, we decided not to take part in the the competition. We just really mm -hmm. like the challenge of um of trying to pick top ten with this um, and we kept trying to when we tried to think of the top 10 for whatever reason we kept trying to think of movies that we really wanted to see a sequel to mm -hmm. which is not this video but it's really just trying to think of top 10 movies that we love that mm -hmm. don't have a sequel or pre-sequel yeah. um it's not in any order necessarily um, or um, you should say as well the random. rules to this is it, it can be a movie which has a sequel in the making or it has a book or a comic book, etc. Mm -hmm. But it has to be a standalone movie yeah. which doesn't have a sequel yet. Well, anyway, one of my choices was Legend. I think you you really like this I film as well. She nearly took this one. Um, I'm actually surprised that this never had a sequel. I'm glad that it didn't. It or doesn't really remade. It doesn't really need one. I think if it was remade, it would be shit. Because I Tim think Curry's it would just be devil. CGI and well, or Lord see, of Darkness, we should say. See, to be honest though, I think that if it's not broken, don't fix it. But this is one of the few films that I like Tom Cruise in. The last film I saw him in, The Mummy, was just. We were it saying was as really, well about. Really bad. About this. Um, I seen this as a kid and I didn't really 100% get it. It was beautiful and stuff. But mm -hmm. seeing it as an adult, I'm like, well, okay, now I understand it a bit better. And seeing it in Blu ray, it's uh, like. It's pretty. It's still very magical. Um, mm. There's nothing in it that makes you go, oh god, look at that, that's clearly, you can see the strings of that puppet, or oh, that's terrible animation, I mean, it's a really, really good film that stands the test of time. So, next, <laughs> it's one that I used to, I'm trying to move through it quickly, so this is one that I used to watch all the time when I was a kid, um, my granny taped it off TV, and I used to watch it all the time. I love this film, I usually it gets to the point where I love it all the way up to the Statue of Liberty chase scene and then I think the pace of the film starts to slow down a little bit but it's still a, a really good film. I think it was that supposed to have lots of sequels wasn't it? And yeah it was supposed to, it just never happened for whatever reason but and I like Fred Do you know, um, I thought apparently you they're remaking it now though? <gasps> no, disgusted. It would never be the same. Uh, number three, well it's in no order but third one that you kind of share this as well, Miracle Mile, and um, we saw this at an all night movie it's marathon. It's supposed to be a horror marathon, I suppose it is horrific, um, but the it's idea not a traditional it. horror. Um, it was one that, at first I thought, oh this is really cheesy, I'm not going to like it, I thought it might be crap, and then I just got hooked in, as you do if you've ever seen this film, that when you first put it on you're like oh this is a little bit cheesy and then it ramps up really really quickly we loved and it. it has a cracker of an ending that i won't ruin um my next one was dark knight of the scarecrow as you um, can tell it's a spanish edition because <clears throat> we don't have a decent one of it yet but it's a really simple storyline that there, there's not a hell of a lot to it's you it's a just a really TV movie. is it mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it it just it's such an easy watch, but it's actually a, a very good film. I'm signing off so far. <laughs> um, my next one was uh, Eyes Without a Face. I really liked the storyline to this one. I thought it was really. And creepy. we're counting like, it because. Genuinely creepy. 
even though it's kind of been remade, it's not actually been remade, it's just that other movies have taken the idea of uh, it. Yeah. So we're, we're kind of kind of counting it. We, we count it. It's just that they've done like their version of it, but it's not actually remade that storyline, so we count it. And uh, the next one on my list was Torso, because I just... I've only seen this once, haven't I? But we put it on, Twice. and you know, with Shameless, like, you, the Shameless films I don't always have, like, I don't think they're going to be a masterpiece a lot of the time, but you do get some of them that are actually really, really good, that kind of stand out, and I thought this was really enjoyable, it was a good storyline, you really want the characters to survive, and the killer's quite creepy. No, I liked this film, and that's why it's in my top ten. The next one is The Running Man, which there's so many Arnie films I could have put in, in here, but they have sequels, so, um, but this one doesn't. I don't know if it's been, if the original story has been made into a film, but it's so different from this one that I don't even think he could, it, it's almost like the Arnie Total Recall and the uh, oh, Colin, Colin Farrell Total Recall are completely different. But I love this film and I wish it had a decent release. This is a German Blu-ray. Right, um, the picture good. quality is crap. Um, but we don't have a UK Blu-ray for some no. weird reason. And yet it's a, it's a really, really good film. So I really want to see. Maybe Arrow might do like a special edition. I hope so. One Why day. not? It's a really, really good film. And I am so surprised in the days of reality TV and so on. <coughs> now this hasn't been remade. Uh, or that hasn't actually happened. Or happened. Aye, uh, true. <laughs> happened in real life. Um, my next one is Brazil. It's fantastic. Um, me and Mandy both love this film and there's a lot of um, really cool special effects in here that despite the age of the film I think still stands up. Like um, the scene where the guy gets covered in the newspapers, remember that? Mm -hmm. And then he just blows away. I thought that was incredible. It was a real good ending. And this one, I don't think a lot of people would choose this, but um, Antiviral by uh, David it's, uh, Cronenberg's it's son. Brandon Cronenberg. Brandon Cronenberg. Um, it is kind of a body horror. It's, um, I think I would it say could it's, happen. I would say it's underrated. So it's about a guy who he basically harvests celebrities' uh, diseases and illnesses and bugs. And there are people that actually buy them. So things like um, somebody might want to, if they're going to get a cold, they don't want just any cold. They maybe want Angelina Jolie's cold or maybe they want a cold sore from George Clooney. And people actually pay this guy money to get these things to pass on to them. Which it sounds bizarre, but not really when you think of the things that people buy online. like somebody's drank out of a bottle of water then they can sell it on ebay as oh you know i don't know uh, well somebody paid a fortune for is in britney this spears chewing gum member exactly so really it's not that far-fetched um but the thing is it there's a bit of a problem where the guy who harvests these diseases he um picks something up from this film star i think she's a film star that um there's no known cure for it and I think it's highly infectious, isn't it? This disease that mm -hmm. she's got. And it's almost like a race against time to figure out what What I liked is. about it is because I don't think it's that unrealistic in today's no. times when you see how famous people become for just being on social media. Yeah. And I just it's, think it's not that unrealistic in the times that we, we live in. But I think, um, I think this one's underrated. And my next one is Whatever Had to Baby Jane. It's been parodied in so many so many things um, even The Simpsons, I, I love that that scene that they do but I really liked this film, we were proper at the edge of our seats all the time it's a brilliant movie and you know by the end you're a little bit kind of shocked but not like you're not surprised but you're like oh. I, I think it's because the whole explain. way through you can't the whole way through you're not entirely sure which sister and I think that's the great yeah, thing about no, the movie. It could go either way. Mm -hmm. But this is a, a classic for a reason. And I, I put off watching it for so, so long. And again, we're actually not entirely surprised. Like, entirely sure why it's not been remade, but we're glad it's not. I know. Or oh, some will at some point, but it won't be good. It shouldn't good. be because those two actresses couldn't be replaced, in my, my opinion. No. I couldn't even think of who you would have in those roles mm -hmm. now. 
So yeah, that's Claire's top ten. Um, but we can we can agree on a top ten. Now there's films in there that I agreed with, but there's films in my pile that I wanted to toss some of Claire's out and replace with mine. There's films in your pile that I quite like that. My problem with my pile is that I had guilty pleasure movies in mm-hmm. that I see when I pick a top ten, I go with I might love a film, but I usually want to replace it with a movie that I've seen a million times because to me that's my favourite movie if I've seen it a million times and that that to me is my favourite mm-hmm. film so that's usually what overtakes a movie that I've watched once or twice and thought that's a really great movie like I thought Interstellar was a fantastic film mm-hmm. but I've only seen it twice so why would I put that in as a favourite film when I've seen Team Witch one million times <laughs> so that's the reason why I went for Team Witch because it's a standalone movie it's never been remade it's never had a sequel. I don't know why. It's a fantastic film. I don't know if it's me, but I feel she like learns Team no Witch. Lessons. Well, she doesn't. But she's probably true to life because if you had magic power, then no, you would you would abuse it. You'd do what you like, and you wouldn't learn from. But the any thing mistakes. about this movie is, it actually did really well for its time, but they never made a sequel to it. But films like Karate Kid and stuff mm. like that had sequels. So why did Team Witch not have a but sequel? It feels like a very short film when you're watching it, and I don't know why. Cause I, well, it's I don't 94 think it minutes, is. so it's, mm. it's about average for that type of but film. But it, it feels like a very short film. But I had this on VHS, and me and my sister must have watched this. I don't know how, how the tape still works, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So yes, my first film is a guilty pleasure movie, and I went for standalone Team Witch film. It is a very easy watch, though. I love it. I know all the songs in it. It's cheesy as hell, but I love it. So, yes, I went for a guilty pleasure Teen Witch. And again, I don't know why it's not been remade. Let's face it, things like Sabrina the Teenage Witch is out just now, and I'm not saying Teen teen Witch is anything like that, but things like this could be popular. So, well, she sings about being popular. So... (laughs) Yes, I went don't, for Don't much. start the singing. <laughs> Google it. No, go on to YouTube and you'll see the song. And then I went for E.T., which is a movie which everybody loves. I've got or that stuck love. in Everybody head, knows, then. should I say. Everybody see? knows. What? I've got that song I'll sing I Like Boys. Oh. But E.T., everybody knows. I'm not saying everybody loves it. I came out wrong. But everybody knows the movie E.T. It's a standalone movie. I'm really glad it's never been remade. It probably will happen at some mm. stage, but... Um, I'm also ET. glad it's never had a sequel. I don't think it should ever have a sequel, if I'm honest with you. Um, I don't think it needs one. I think there was talks, because remember when we went, we, seen the, we went to Edinburgh yeah. for the love of the 80s? Uh-huh. He did say that at one stage there was talk of a sequel where you got to see E.T. and his own plan and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't think you need that. I think no. the movie's good just the way it is. But yes, E.T., standalone movie, good just as it is. Yes, I have another guilty pleasure movie. Um, I was saying to Claire before we did this, I probably should have Googled some of these just to make sure they are standalone. But I think I love this movie so much that if there was a sequel, I probably would know about it. Um, It's a movie that I know there's a Blu-ray release in America. There isn't one here in the UK. I wish there was because I would own it. I did check to see if it played Region um, B here, like uh, Team Witch is Region 1, but it does play here, which is why I've got the Blu-ray. And this is uh, My Science Project. You, Claire, reluctantly would not watch this film, and eventually you did, and you enjoyed it. Let me read the back, see if I remember. Oh, this is the one where... Is this the one where they make a woman? No, no, that's weird science. Sorry. See, I get mixed up between Misfits of Science, Weird Science, and My Science Project. Yeah, which is three in a row that we should watch as a triple whammy. But I love the all three, American by the way. One. I would love all three. Um, but yeah, my science project is I'm the one about the read. guy that um, he's failing in his science project and he goes to the scrapyard and he finds this thing which has been hidden oh, by the that's, government that's right. and okay, it opens up time portals and basically in the school like all these different things from all over time so like cavemen and dinosaurs mm-hmm. and stuff are in the school and it's basically the geek and his pal and like the lassie that inadvertently ends up involved in it. Like of course they call adventure movies and they end up having to go into school and try and shut it down mm-hmm. I love adventure movies like that like teenagers having to go and do stuff to save save the whole town but I love my science project again this is a movie that I had on VHS I watched so much again me and my sister love this film and the reason why I chose this one is because I've watched it so many times it is probably a guilty pleasure movie 
I need a Blu-ray of it. I wish someone would release it here because I would buy it. And now I've shown it to you guys, you should go and watch it and buy it too. Up next is a movie where I know there's been so many rumours that there's going to be a sequel. There isn't one yet, so that's why it counts. And that is Willow. Willow is one of my favourite adventure films, so like Co uh, Claire loves Conan. I love Willow. So that's uh, the reason why I've got it on here. I love Willow. I can quote lines out of Willow. Um, I've just grew up loving it. Again, I had it on VHS. Great adventure film. I know you're not as big a fan, but that's because you didn't grow up watching it. I didn't. I, I didn't I'm I not as big a fan of Conan as Claire is, but I didn't grow up watching Conan. I, I watched Red Sonja more, but I love the movie Willow, and I'm glad... I don't think it needs a sequel. I would like to see more of the land where Willow's based, but I don't think we need to see more adventure of Willow himself. I think I'd quite like to see the, the baby, which name I can't remember. The Laura Gannon. <laughs> I'd like to see the baby, but I don't think we actually need to see like Willow himself. His adventures ended. He saved the baby, but let's see the Laura Gannon. So, uh, yeah, Willow. And then we have... Another guilty pleasure. High spirits. I think this movie's hilarious. That made you watch this one as well, didn't mm -hmm. it? You laughed. Mm -hmm, I did. Um, I think High Spirits is hilarious. It's got a lot of big names in it, so I, again, I don't really know why we don't have a decent release of it. To me, I feel this feels like a movie, like a company. I mean, Arrow's just released Elvira, so why can't they go and release High Spirits? Give it the treatment it deserves. Um, it's such a funny movie. If you haven't seen it, you should probably try and track down a copy of it especially in the UK I think there's only this crappy DVD that exists of it um, it's about Failing Castle where they don't actually think ghosts exist but they decide to hold a fake ghost adventurous thing and then it turns out ghosts actually do exist and they get annoyed because they're holding a fake one and it's like on I think it's the Hallow's Eve or something like that and all the ghosts actually do come out and it's just so funny the things that happen um, but it's it's really really funny. It's set in Ireland. But yeah, I love it. It's really really funny. So yep, yeah, guilty pleasure one, but really not a guilty pleasure to be honest, because it is fantastic. But high spirits. Um, I know again, this is dropping stuff. This is another rumored to have a sequel one. Personally, I don't want there to be a sequel. No, I don't me think neither. this movie needs a sequel. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it. Even like to David Bowie, you know what's coming next because I'm wearing a t-shirt. Um, I don't think it would be right in his memory either that there's a sequel to this movie. But yeah, Labyrinth, I think it should just stay the way it is. I love this film. Again, I know all the songs to this movie. I think, you know the funniest thing, I don't actually know if I've got a horror in this pile. <laughs> I think I've got um, one. I, mm. Yeah, I've got one at the bottom. I, I think I prefer fantasies, but I do. I've got one at the bottom. Mm, I do. That's not horror. Oh. <laughs> Neither is that. Oh, I've none. You've none. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I take the horror out. <laughs> Oops, the daisies. All, all fantasy, I think, in adventures and comedies. We're deadly dames, and I like horrors and fantasies and comedies. <laughs> and no, all I, oh, I said horrors. I like fantasies and comedies. <laughs> what can I say? I grew up watching these films. But. I don't think this movie needs a sequel. I no. think it's fine the way it is. Keep Labyrinth as it is. We should start a petition. Keep it like this. Um, up next I have a movie which I don't want them to ever touch. I think if you tried to make this movie now as a remake or a sequel, you would lose all the magic of this film. I think the fact that it was done when it was done is the reason why this movie is so magical. Now it would just be CGI and there would be nothing that makes it the way it was. I'm trying to... Because it was all hand-drawn and that's what made it fantastic. Mm -hmm. cause I think the, the animation would... would uh, well, maybe if the, an the animation could be done similar to that, but I don't think it would have the same feel because back then it was something very, very different. And who didn't fancy Jessica Rabbit? Everybody fancy <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. And that's who framed Roger Rabbit. I mean, who didn't fancy Jessica Rabbit? I mean, imagine Rabbit? what Jessica Rabbit would look like now. I know. She'd still look the same. She's a cartoon. No, but I mean, <laughs> if somebody read it, she'd probably have proper, like, fish whips. 
no, no. But anyway, in who old... framed Roger Rabbit? Stop ruining my Jessica <laughs> Rabbit, my dreams. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this movie. I love that it's a standalone film. I don't want anybody to touch it or do anything to it, and I need to stop telling people <laughs> to touch my movies because um, it sounds wrong. I think this is one of my. Were we supposed to put these in ratings? I don't think so. As in an order? I think we were. No, well... I think Leo did them in order. It's, it's too difficult to put them in order. We'd never have gotten it done because we'd have been debating too much about which order. Too well, late now. I, I can quickly put them in order, but I'll show you them all and then I'll quickly put them in order. Oh. But anyway, I'll show you them all and then I'll quickly put them in order. But anyway, who framed Roger Rabbit? And then this is another Guilty Pleasure film. Um, I'm distracting now because I realised I should have put them in order. <laughs> well, I don't think we'll have time to put them in order now. Ah, it'll take two seconds. But anyway, Guilty Pleasure film, crying out for a decent Blu-ray. Should have a decent Blu-ray. And again, this is probably one that, as I said, Arrow's just a little virus, so why can't they do it with this film? I know. It's got a really good cast as well. It's got Jim Carrey, Gina Davis, Jeff Goldblum. And that is Earth Girls at Easy. I have got a crappy DVD of this. I wish there was a Blu-ray of it. It's so cheesy. It's got a good soundtrack. We've got the mm -hmm. vinyl of it. Um, it it's the weirdest storyline ever. It's basically about three hairy aliens that fall to Earth and then they get shaved and by a hairdresser who's pals with Gina Davis and she falls in love with them. It's a bizarre storyline, but it's full of musical numbers. They all sing. Um, but it's the land in our swimming pool, which is funny. And they're tiny, aren't they? And then they mm -hmm. suddenly become big. But it's... I love this film. It is just so cheesy. I had it in VHS again. I'm sure my age. Watched it so many times. But yeah, it's got to be in my top ten. Another top ten VHS watch for me. And this this is one when I, I made you watch it. And you didn't mm -hmm. want to watch it. You said, oh, that'll be rubbish. And at the end, you were shouting, fair is fair. <laughs> but... Yeah, I, again, I've seen this movie so many times. It's got the really, really attractive Helen Slater, whether her hair is long or short. I still find this lady attractive. And that is The Adventures of Billie Jean. It's funny because I always thought that Helen Slater and Christian Slater were actual real-life brothers and sisters because they had the brother and sister because they had the same surname. They're not. They just really look alike and play brother and sister in this and they uh, have the same surname in real life, but they really aren't. But yeah, I... I think this movie's brilliant. Um, it's especially the escalator scene in this. Mm -hmm. I used to play it over and over again and imagine it was me doing that adventure scene. And I actually, when I was a kid, um, I used to walk about marbles in my my ba in my bag, <laughs> just in case I needed them. <laughs> this is how movies influence children. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, Legend of Billie Jean, guilty pleasure film again. Watched it too many times. And then the last movie in my top 10 is uh, Standalone, The Goonies. I nearly hit you in the face. <laughs> well, a couple of times you have came very close to putting a corner of something in my um, alley. Standalone film, glad again that they've never made a Goonies mm -hmm. 2. I think there was always rumours that they were going to do a Goonies 2. I think if they were going to do it, they should have done it at the time. I, I think if you did one now, it would be what terrible. What would you do? Goonies if 2 you the Goonies it, kids? If you really? remade it now, it would be shit. It wouldn't have the same feel. Everything would be CGI. And it just what what adventure would you have them going on really? It just wouldn't make any sense. If it was remade now, it'd be like a almost scene for scene remake. I could guarantee. I think the Goonies shouldn't be touched. But no. yeah, <laughs> I. <laughs> you said it again. I know. But anyway, <laughs> now the Goonies. Leave it alone. Don't touch them. <laughs> Don't touch the Goonies. Don't touch the Goonies. It's a good thing in the the ghoulies, I can't put them on here. <laughs> Touch the ghoulies. <laughs> There's a sequel to them, so I can't add them to this list. But yeah, don't touch the goonies. They're good just as they are. <laughs> can't stop them. But yes, the goonies. I'm glad that this is a standalone movie. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need a sequel. Doesn't need a remake. Doesn't need a pre sequel. <laughs> the goonies in their diapers. I used an American word to piss you off. <laughs> and their nappies. But eh. Uh, you know, if there was a prequel, it probably wouldn't be... It'd probably be about the family. What, the dad hiding the treasure? Mm-hmm. Hiding the map so his kids can find it years from now? He's like, hmm, I know that my kid's going to have a really clumsy pal, so I know what I'll do. I'll put it in this glass frame. <laughs> 
But I'm not going to go look for the treasure myself because I'm boring. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Goonies. So, hold on, I'm going to quickly put mine in order. You oh, quickly put yours see. in order. We should have done it at the beginning. Sorry. This is very hard, but I'm going to do it in a rough way. Okay, this is harder than I thought. I'm using your leg to balance them. Right, this probably isn't really my top 10, but I just did this for quickness. So, one, Running Man. Two, Remo. Three, Baby Drone. Four, Legend. Five, Miracle Mile. Six, Eyes Without a Face. Seven, Torso. Eight, Dark Knight the Scarecrow. Nine, Brazil. <laughs> Ten, Antiviral. There, I'm dropping gone. everything. See, mine took two seconds and I am still dropping them. Do you want so, me to hold oh, some? No, hold on. So, ten, I've got High Spirits. And then, again, I'm doing this quickly. Nine, I've got Adventures of Billie Jean. Um, eight, I've got Team Witch. Oh, that was just light. Team Witch. <laughs> um, and then, where am I? Uh, Seven. Seven. Um, my Science Project. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing count. F girls are easy. Five. Five. I've got E.T. Four. I've got Goonies. And then three. I've got Willow. Two. I've got Hey Frame, Roger Rabbit. And then number one is a Labyrinth. So, yep. Sorry, we probably should have did that at the beginning. But I completely forgot it's meant to be in order. And it's a pretty steel book, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But, eh... Uh, Yes, so that is our top 10. Sorry that took a wee bit longer than we expected because we stupidly didn't put them in order. But um, yes, so be, this is meant to be a tag video as well. So we're supposed to be tagging people. So uh, Trash Picture Show as always. Uh, Grumpy Andrew because I want to know what his top 10 is and that's all I can think of off the top of my head. But uh, yes, we want to know what your top 10 standalone movies with no pre-sequels, no sequels. Um, out there are please tell us your guilty pleasures because i want to know that sounded so dirty your guilty pleasure standalone movies are tell us your guilty pleasures and which you ones don't you don't want to touch <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, terrible tell us did you not want the goodies to be touched <laughs> <laughs> did you not want earth girls are easy to be touched um did you not want the team witch to be touched <laughs> moving on <laughs> but yes um, and head over to Geek Legion of Doom's channel and check out his competition. Um, it is a good competition, so you can take part. All you need to do to take part is like his channel, um, subscribe to his channel, not like his video, subscribe to his channel, and do a video. I think you can just put the 10 videos underneath as well. But anyway, all these rules, rules are on that video, and we'll put a wee link on this, this video as well. It's been... A very long video because Claire kept laughing. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hopefully you've liked our top tens and take care. <laughs>